Comic Relief was the brainchild of Richard Curtis. Richard had been to Ethiopia post Michael Burke's extraordinary films during Live Aid. Richard observed terrible things, you know, walking into a room where everybody was dead, then in another room when everybody was half dead and things like that. And he was profoundly affected by it. And he wanted to do something. So he put on a show. That's what we do. He put on a show. Uh, Rowan Atkinson was doing a show at the Shaftesbury Theatre. They said we could have the theatre after Rowan had finished his show, which is called The Rubber Faced Review, I think. And Richard had written it. Richard invited all these people to come and perform. And when they showed it on the telly as an arena special directed by Alan Yentob, I think we raised a couple of million quid. And we were all really chuffed with that. And we were at my house having drinks. I think I'd had some sherbets. And I said, it should be, it should be on all night and we should all do sketches or bits of what we love and it should raise money like that. Not a telethon, but something different, a comathon. And um, Richard went, oh, that's, that's a good idea. And suddenly we were in a room writing letters to the great and the good saying, will you be involved in Comic Relief? It's this thing that's going to raise money for charities in Africa and in the UK. And a lot of people didn't want to be involved because they saw something like that as political. My thing, of course, was, well, everything's political. The act of saying no to a charity is a political act. If this was a street and something awful happened over the road, a fire or a death in the family or an earthquake that ruined everybody's house, you'd go over there and you'd say, what do you need? And I think this impulse that everybody in the UK has, whatever they say, and this is why the British public are brilliant, this impulse to help to go in the sofa and find 20p. All of these things that the British public have done to raise money for comic relief have now raised over a billion and a half pounds. And that's because Richard went to Ethiopia one time and came back and said to me and the rest of his mates, we should do something about that.